Hello all, Bob Pisani. At the Sandler O'Neill Global Exchange Conference in New York City, the heads of all of the exchanges, the online brokerage firms also meeting, also investors in those various industries all trying to figure out where's trading going, what's the retail client, what's the professional investor doing right now. Join with Leo Lesky, he's the CEO of TradeWeb, which just went public. I think it's probably the most successful financial IPO of the year. What are you up, 60% so far this year? Just went public yeah, a few weeks like ago. Something like that, Bob. Yes, yeah, something like that. It's been uh, two months. It was our two-month anniversary yesterday. We're very, very pleased with the reception we had. Uh, our deal process went incredibly well. We've got some great investors, and we're excited for the future. You are one of the global leaders in the electricity electronification of the bond market, as I like to say. This is something, the stock market we went through 20 years ago, when I was down on the floor of the New York Stock Exchange, uh, I saw it as it went much more electronic. It was sometimes difficult, but where are we in this process of electronifying the bond market? How far along are we, just briefly? Well, I, you know, first of all, it, it's a big market. It's a big global market, so it's a question of where in the world are we talking about? Is it the US, is it Europe, is it Asia? So it varies within fixed income, depending on where you are in the market. The other thing that's an important variable is are you in the rates market? Are you in the credit market? Rates markets with government bonds, more electronic. Credit in the US, moving electronic, but still only about 25, 30% electronic. So there's a lot of room to grow here. And why is it taking so long? I, I mean, I, I take it the answer is that the, the banks who control a lot of the business want to do the over-the-counter business. The spreads are wider. It's just more profitable doing it over-the-counter than doing it electronically. Am, am I right, or is there other reasons? Well, there's, there's, I think it's a little more to it than just that. There is a, there's complexity to the bond market markets that does not exist in other markets. First of all, there's millions of QCIPs, right? So there's an awful lot of bonds that are out there. We actually trade not just bonds, but we also trade derivatives, OTC derivatives. We even trade ETFs on TradeWeb. So we, these days, our ETF business in Europe, we actually do more volume in ETFs in Europe than any of the exchanges. So our business has grown over the years. It's much more than just a, a bond platform. It's derivatives, it's equities, it's money markets. One of the things that's amazed me is just the growth of the bond market in general, the growth of the corporate bond market. Mm -hmm. We are, our viewers are very interested in the high yield market because obviously you're dealing 6% in a high yield bond fund. Uh, these days, it's a lot more attractive than, than 2% in a, in a treasury or even a corporate uh, fund. Where do you see that going? Do you, do you still see the, bond, the corporate bond market expanding like it's been? Yeah, well, it has been expanding quite rapidly over the last several years. And it's not just the corporate bond market, it's also the government bond market. So there's an awful lot of debt that's been issued over the last several years. And it, it does look like that's going to continue to happen. We have a very low yield environment. Uh, it's attractive to borrow, and we continue to see more and more uh, growth in the bond markets, which does lead to more trading activity. I get the most common question I get asked about the bond market is why are rates still so low? And can, you, you watch global trading, right? In in bonds, can you? Tell us, and people often will say, well, one reason, of course, is German bond investors have zero yield or negative yields. Obviously, ours would be more attractive at 2% or 2.2%. They are therefore, foreign investment in U.S. bond market is is growing. Do you have any sense of that? Can you enlighten us anything about the global sure, sure. investment in bonds? Uh, for, for TradeWeb, TradeWeb's business is actually a global business. So we have almost 40% of our revenue comes from outside the U.S., which means we have investors around the world. But even the investors in the U.S. are interested in global markets. The way they trade on an institutional basis is across the world. We have rates in uh, Japan that are incredibly low to negative. As you point out, in Germany, negative yields. U.S., very low yields. People are always, investors are looking at these global markets and making decisions where to invest, where to hedge that investment. And it is a global market. So it does, one thing affects the other, absolutely. You know, what, um, before I let you go, I think people were really surprised about the fact that you had a 60% pop in the IPO. People are obsessed with, you know, new new gadgets and things like that. Peloton today announced that they're moving towards an IPO, and that gets a lot of intention. But here you have a, a financial services platform, electronification of bonds, and all of a sudden it's, it's the biggest, not number one, but it's one of the biggest IPOs we've seen in years. What, what do you attribute the success? Why is there so much interest suddenly in what you're doing? 
Well, I think on a, on a few levels, uh, first of all, we've actually been doing it for over 20 years, so it's not as if no. we're a, a new company. That's true. Investors are always looking for growth, they're looking for profitability, uh, and they're looking at opportunity. And in our space, in electronic trading for fixed income, there continues to be a tremendous opportunity for more growth. So I think the growth story that we have at TradeWeb and with platforms like TradeWeb is, is very interesting to investors. Growth makes a lot of sense to me, and certainly with only 25 or 30 percent penetration, we've got a long way to go. Lee Oleski from TradeWeb, thanks very much for joining us. Thanks, Bob.